I'm Dr. Chris with Barefoot Rehab in Denville, New Jersey. If you have butt pain, how do you know where it's coming from? How do you know if it's coming from your disc or your sciatic nerve at the hip external rotators or what is commonly referred to as piriformis syndrome? And if this isn't clear, this is somebody's butt and that's a lot of butt pain. There are a few questions that you can ask yourself to determine if this is a disc problem or if this is a sciatic nerve at the butt cheek problem. And this will be really helpful because a lot of times you go see a chiropractor, a physical therapist, or a medical doctor, and they'll want to treat one thing when the problem is clearly not coming from that area. And it'll just save you a lot of time, money, and energy by having the idea of where your problem is coming from. So the first part is if you have an MRI that is horrible for the low back and has a horribly herniated disc, you probably have a disc problem. If it's very, very clean, then that rules out the disc problem and it probably puts you at a sciatic nerve at the hip external rotator problem. So that's just structural imaging that gives you data that is helpful to understand. If you have butt pain when you wake up in the morning, that is more likely a disc problem. If you don't have any butt pain when you wake up in the morning, it's more likely sciatic nerve at the hip external rotator problems. That's because the disc is loaded a little bit when you get out of bed in the morning, when you, because the disc takes on water when you're sleeping, and then when you take your spine and you go vertical and stand up again, it takes some time for that water to come out of the disc so the nutrition comes out. So that's the disc problem. The hip, the sciatic nerve at the external rotators is not any, it, there's no stress on it at all when you're sleeping. So that's how you can know that information. If you do a hamstring stretch test where you're just stretching your hamstring and you have really horrible pain right at your butt cheek, that is more likely a sciatic nerve problem. Although if it's on both sides, it's more likely a disc problem or if the symptoms aren't at the butt, but somewhere else, down your hamstring, down your calf, in your low back, that makes it more likely that it's a disc problem. So you kind of have to weigh all of these variables in order to see what is best and where it's going. If you have pain when you sit, that could be a disc problem or sciatic nerve at the external rotators. It depends on if you're sitting right where the adhesion is between those locations. So. If your pain's a little bit higher than your sit bone where you sit down, then it probably isn't the sciatic nerve at the hip external rotators. But if your pain, your butt pain is a little bit lower where you're sitting and it's direct pressure, then it may be that it's this problem. If you're walking and you have this pain, and especially if you're taking longer strides and you feel the butt pain, it's more likely sciatic nerve at the hip external rotators. If you're taking really short strides and you're standing up, then it's le more, less likely the sciatic nerve at the hip external rotators, more likely a disc problem. Whenever it comes to diagnosing, especially a chronic problem that's been more than six months and if you've seen more than three other doctors or therapists, it's not as simple as saying one data piece means that it's this diagnosis. We need all of the data in order to make the best theoretical diagnosis that will allow us to choose a treatment that leads to results. So the MRI, wake up in the morning, sitting, walking, and there's some other data that helps us to put together a puzzle. When all the puzzle pieces are put together, we can look at what the puzzle looks like and make sense of what the puzzle is. So you just have to put this data together in order to come up with the best idea of whether your butt pain is being caused by a disc or is being caused by, this, by the sciatic nerve at the hip external rotators. And guess what? Here's the wrench into things. It can be a little bit of both. It could be 100% this, 0% this. It could be 100% this, 0% that. It could be 50-50 and vice versa. So this is what a skilled diagnostician and manual therapist will help you determine is how much of your problem is each one. And then we just start removing adhesion visit by visit. And as we remove adhesion visit by visit in five visits or less, we will know if we're getting permanent relief or not. And if it's been five visits and we haven't gotten permanent relief, guess what? We're not continuing to waste your time, energy, and money in order to figure out what your problem is. I'm Dr. Chris with Barefoot Rehab discussing how do you know if it's a disc problem or if it's a sciatic nerve at the hip external rotator problem. I love you. Boop.